Hey guys, Meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Well, we got the snow. It is a big powder Sunday. Take a look at solitude. Uh, most of the resorts picking up between one and two feet of accumulation. And we've still got another four to six inches to accumulate today, tonight. So we're not done. You can see it's still coming down. It is going to be a big day up there. All right, that's Utah. Let me take you into Colorado. We're working on about a foot now through parts of uh, Aspen snow mass, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. And we've still got at least another six inches to go here as well. Uh, across a lot of Colorado, it's a big powder day. Vail, Beaver Creek. Let me take you up to the Continental Divide. Loveland ski area. You still have several inches of snow yet to fall uh, today. Uh, and that's not even it. There's uh, some additional snow in the forecast as well. All right, let me show you what I'm seeing this morning. Here's what I've got. So the Wasatch, another four to six inches of accumulation today uh, into tomorrow. Tetons, another four to six inches today into tomorrow. Um, and then a foot coming, maybe even more than a foot, between 3-5 in the morning of 3-6. Um, Colorado, you've got another 4 to 12 inches today. That's, that's why I said at least 6 inches in a lot of places yet to fall in Colorado um, in the central and northern mountain zones between today and uh, tomorrow. And then a light to moderate snow coming on 3.5 to 3.7. The Sierra, you'll continue to work on your grand totals into the morning of 3.5. The northeast, you've got rain coming 3.5, 3.6 at the major ski areas and snow. Potentially moderate accumulations of snow on 310. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So our big trough is right here. And it continues to kind of work its way to the south while also pivoting into the interior. And that's what really brought that big heavy band, that wave of snow through. Initially, it was the Tetons. Then it hit the Wasatch yesterday, midday into the afternoon and last night. And then it hit Colorado last night and now continues into today. There's another area of low pressure back here. This one will also take a similar track and slide into California and the interior in the extended forecast. So we'll look at all that. But here's the forecast jet by the end of day today. A lot of jet energy here continues into tomorrow. And then we start to transition. Here comes that next storm system into California. You can see the dip in the jet, so that'll bring it in. 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, and 3.8. It moves into the interior in the four corners. Kind of runs through parts of Colorado and uh, New Mexico with some additional snow. And then it moves out. And then everything sort of rides the northern branch up into the Pacific Northwest. That's where the big snow is going to be, 3.10, 11, and 12. Putting precip on top of all of this, that's the forecast radar by 5.30 this afternoon. We still have some snow in the Tetons, in the Wasatch, and moderate to heavy snow over parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Snow continues in the Sierra. Here we go into tomorrow morning, and by tomorrow afternoon, the snow starts to fade across uh, parts of Colorado. And then here comes the next storm system. That refires the snow across the inner mountain, and then it turns into an area of low pressure around the Four Corners uh, parts of New Mexico and Colorado, and that may enhance some of the snow across uh, the Continental Divide, southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, 3, 7, and 3, 8, and then that moves away by the end of the day, by Saturday morning. Here comes the next storm system. That rides that northern branch in and really does affect a lot of the northern tier, 310, 311, and 312. Okay, latest forecast numbers. Here's the latest um, grand totals map, grand totals by late 312. So we still have two feet to go in the Tetons. No surprise uh, with the, the existing storm and at least one storm behind it and then potentially some moisture from that storm around 310, 311, 312. In Colorado, between, with everything we've got, we still have another foot, foot and a half to go over uh, most of Colorado and the central and northern mountains. Uh, about another foot for the Wasatch. You can see what is uh, still on tap for parts of California. And big snow late in the period for the Pacific Northwest. Um, you can see those numbers starting to tick up, and about a foot still in the forecast for Idaho. Okay, by time period, here's what I'm seeing. So today into tomorrow, the next 48 hours, another 4 to 6 for the Tetons, the Wasatch, another 4 to 12 in Colorado, especially central and northern mountains. Um, next time period, this is 3-5 through 3-7, so the next storm system comes in off the Pacific and shoots that uh, that strong um, just band of moisture over the top of the Tetons with a foot or more of accumulation during this time period alone. Another three to six in Colorado. 
Okay, final time period, 3-8 through 3-12. Now you have a storm system coming through, 3-8, 3-9 through Colorado with northern New Mexico, so that still gives you some additional light accumulations. Then everything starts to refocus up to the Pacific Northwest, 3-10, 3-11, and 3-12. Okay, one last stop into the northeast, and again, a lot of this accumulation, if it happens, it's going to be around 3-10 because it's going to be rain, 3-6, 3-7, at most of the major ski areas, certainly at the base areas. Um, and then if we get the snow, like I said, around 310. All right, guys, we're going to end on the grand totals map. So again, grand totals by late 312, anywhere in purples over a foot. And we still have a fair amount of snow yet to accumulate. Today's a big powder day. Tomorrow will be a great powder day. And there are some days even down the road um, that look pretty good as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it. Take care.